In today's video, we're looking at the most recent Nike driver that was released. It's in 2015, the Vapor Fly Pro. We're gonna compare it to a new Titleist TSI 2. So kind of seeing how far Nike came in their driver technology prior to uh, giving up the golf clubs uh, with the Titleist TSI 2. It's one of the better performers here uh, at Second Swing and Fittings. Jackie lit some shots and we'll see what TrackMan tells us. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing. Uh, it's a busy time of year. Uh, the store's kind of busy right now. <laughs> yep. It's uh, the Christmas season. Uh, but we have some drivers to test. This is the Nike Vaporfly Pro from 2015. I believe it's the most recent Nike driver that they released and the Titleist TSI 2. Uh, that, that look is very unique yep. for a driver, that kind of blue crown. What do you know, Jackie, about the Nike Vapor Fly Pro, uh, if anything, because it's kind of old uh, by now. And then the TSI 2, what do you think we'll see today testing? Don't know a whole lot about the Nike mm -hmm. Vapor Pro. Um, obviously, it was really popular because, you know, Tiger. Yeah, so yeah. that's the, the Nike effect. swoosh. Yeah. yeah, in golf, a Tiger kind of has really so, amplified that. You know, the reason why we picked the TSI 2 to compare it with it is just, uh, you know, similar in, in what we're going to see here in terms of club head. Uh, the Nike Vapor Pro is a little bit more compact, doesn't mm -hmm. have as much weight in the back as the TSI 2, right. but uh, biggest reason too is just the shaft. So in the Nike Vapor Pro, we have the Tensai CK series, and in the TSI 2, we have the Tensai AV series. So mm -hmm. they're both the Tensai Blues, um, but just different series of shafts. Yeah. So it'll be comparable to, you know, uh, kind of, really testing out the club head more than anything. Yeah, that's kind of the goal. I mean, we couldn't we could make it perfect based on right. the shaft already in the Nike of Vaporfly Pro, but we kind of just wanted to see. I was just mostly curious. I kind of want to see, you know, how the Nike driver from, I guess, six years ago now stacks up to a new Titleist driver today. So uh, I'm curious. I guess my thought would be the Titleist would be the better performer here, and especially on miss hits, be more consistent. But I've been wrong before doing these, so uh, I'm curious to see what happens. You ready to hit some tee shots? Yeah, let's go. That's a good start. That's a good start. I look like another one right down the middle. Yeah, little draw though that time. Yeah, I was trying to turn it over a little bit. Good ball speed. Yeah. A little bit open on the face. All right. So that kind of brought the spin up a little bit. But so TSI 2, what should we know about that compared to, I mean, what you think we'll see with the Vaporfly Pro here? Oh, I mean, TSI 2 is obviously a really solid club. Mm -hmm. um, fits in the category for a lot of people. Yeah. So, you know, it feels good. It's forgiving. Now, I had. I don't know, a couple good shots, but yeah. a couple I mean, Consistency for too. the distance is good. I mean, look at that. I mean, you had a couple yeah. that went, you know, turned over a little bit on you. You had one right down the middle. You had one that was kind of a little bit open on the face, but it's still the same distance, which is, I think, might be a a, uh, a point where, you know, the, the Nike driver here might not do as well. It's kind of keeping that distance we'll the same. So, but yeah, we'll see. I'm very curious. Off the toe. Okay. Eh. Okay. So, here's where we're at after four with each. Interesting. What do you think? I gotta ask. I mean, look and feel differences between that and the TSI two. Um. Well, obviously it's blue. Yes. So. Yes, it is. It's very blue. I don't. I don't mind it again, but that's just because. I mean, look to me is. How about I, the, I like the blue, but. How about the club head shape? Definitely like more compact. Yeah. Kind of really looks like the, like uh, the TSI four, like the club head shape. Okay. Like r much So in terms more of like, you know what? I mean, in terms of the MOI and stuff, probably not. I mean, you probably should have like TSI three or TSI four even. Yeah. Just for the sake of the club head shape comparison here, but. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely like the, the sweet spot is definitely very like small compared to the TSI yeah. two. Like TSI two absorbs that shock a lot better, 
Or this is like a rock when I don't hit the middle yeah. of the face. Well, it's also just the sound of it is just super loud. Yeah. It does sound like you're actually hitting a rock Yeah. with it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that, it's one of those like it hurts my ears when you hit it good. Um, but performance wise, like. Yeah, no, I mean, there's, I mean, the, the big difference really is, is spin right now. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of extra spin with that um, Vaporfly Pro compared to the TSI 2. Oh, uh, and I, on those uh, two shots, left it way Face open. was open, right. So. I mean, we can bring those up here and you can see, you know, yeah. those were 2781, 3297. And then these ones were down in the low 2000s. But even with these though, I mean, the, the ones the TSI 2 hit well, I mean, these were still sub 2000. So yeah. then you had the one out to the right that gained some more spin, but. Well, let's hit some more. Let's right. see what the. So let's go four more with each. Then we'll yep. break down all the data here. That should be good. That should be pretty good. Uh, yeah. Should be good. Yes, that's very good. Eh. Mm, face a little open. Okay. Oh, wow, that's good. You got the gear effect on that one. Yep. Eh. Oh. Okay. So it didn't go as far, but it corrected itself. All right. Jackie, do you want to start with dispersion? Do you want to start with the chart and the map here? Oh, uh, yeah. Chart um, data? I would say that, I mean, honestly, scroll over to the data quick. Yeah, not, I mean, when taking a look at just that in general, um, I think where the TSI-2 takes the cake here is just honestly, like, some of those miss hits, yeah, like, they that's, just... I mean, that's what I'm noticing, too. Yeah, even when they're just definitely absorbing a lot better. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, even if I hit it off the toe or heel, it's still, like, in general going in the fairway. And yeah. I think that's, like, the key here is, you There's know... There's a couple there where you didn't, you could tell you didn't quite catch it. Yeah. Uh, but then the spin stayed down and it kind of had that knuckleball gear effect. Um, where I think there was only one really that actually, this one was the italicized one. Yeah. Where the, the spin kind of that knuckleball sometimes doesn't pick it up. But you had, this one also right after that was the same thing where it kind of was, Yeah. you know, you, you thought this was off the toe, it was going to go away right and actually correct itself into a draw here. Yeah. You know, 237 yards, so. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I hit a couple really good shots with that Vapor Pro at the end there. Like you did? No, three, I didn't. Three in a row that I piped like, pretty close to the middle and like that was but like also I just think it's uh just doesn't feel great like the the vapor yeah the it just Nike. is not very solid like it like as you hit it it feels like a rock yeah it does you know and mm -hmm. it, has it sounds that like one too yeah it's <laughs> it sounds like one too but uh TSI 2 I, I mean just felt softer it felt more forgiving mm -hmm. Um, you know, swing wise, uh, like how it felt in the, in the backswing, like not a lot of difference there. The, you know, uh, this felt actually a little bit lighter, even though that shaft's like five grams lighter, uh, in the Vapor Pro. So you know, that's probably why I swung a little bit faster with that one too. Yeah. Uh, just because, you sure. know, I gram weight, um, not a huge difference, but a little bit, uh, I would say, yeah, I mean, the Vapor Pro, it's it's not like it's not performing. No, it, obviously, it, I'm, I am pleasantly surprised. I would say with you know the I guess the speed and the uh, you know you, you after the first four shots, I think we noticed the spin was kind of high. Yeah. But then you kind of got hit a couple of really good ones with the the Vaporfly Pro, and that spin did drop a little bit. Yeah. And so it's not like it's a crazy high amount of spin compared uh, compared to the TSI two. Look at that ball speed; it's the exact same. Yeah. Got the exact Which, same ball speed. A little bit more efficient with the TSI-2. Carry distance is almost the same. Yeah. A little bit more rollout with the TSI-2 thanks to less spin, but there's not a ton of difference here, really. I mean, these numbers are very similar across the board. Face to path, face angle, yeah. club path is basically zero. I mean, that's uh, pretty good. And so Long really, I think we were just a couple of mishits we noticed with each club, really. But I think the TSI-2, they really kind of straightened them out. You know, I had a couple of, I think maybe one of, one of these here. 
that one, and I think it's actually your farthest one of the day. And then you had one here, and is it here? Yeah. No, which one? One of these was one that you hit, and it was that knuckleball effect where you was off the toe. You didn't think it would kind well, of perform that well, and it did. Yeah, I think dispersion-wise, you'd look at this, and I mean, it's there's not a whole lot of difference here. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I had some bad, you know, well, not as up to par shots as I probably would have liked. And some of them, I'm, you know, I'm mm -hmm. trying to turn it over a little bit too much. And like, what, where do those go? I mean, the a couple of those Vapor Pros that I tried to turn over, I mean, you know, there's five shots like pretty yeah. close together there. So, I mean, consistency is not too bad in terms of that. But yeah, I think the TSI 2 just got a little bit more, um, forgiveness in it and it just is yeah. going to be a little bit more consistent when you're talking about you know mm -hmm. hitting x amount of shots in, in a round yeah. like how no, what's going to give you more forgiveness what's going to get you better results right you know newer technology right? yeah and i think we, we always get a lot of questions about you know nike clubs and how, how they've stood the yeah. test of time this is kind of an, a good indication uh, and that was kind of what we expected just some of those that forgiveness piece on the miss hits is probably where the big dif biggest difference is going to be but you know, if you like the, the blue look or, you know, maybe you are a big, you know, Nike geek and you want some Nike clubs, the Vaporfly Pro driver might be the best Nike driver out there. And, you know, it, we can see here distance wise, ball speed wise, it definitely still keeps up. So yeah. that's good to note. And again, we have a bunch of these at second swing as well, uh, in addition to the Titleist TSI2, of course. So Jackie, thanks for hitting the shots today. Some good data here, good information. Um, it's always kind of fun to compare, you know, the eras, so to speak, of golf equipment from maybe five, six years ago to present, see how things have changed, you know, and again, that forgiveness piece is really the biggest difference here, I think. Yeah. Thanks for having me.